I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your bullish bit brought to you by CoinMiles.io, the best place to earn Bitcoin rewards when you spend your filthy fiat online. If you're not using it, you are leaving sats on the table, shop online, or get gift cards for all your favorite vendors, including retail, travel, apparel, home supplies, groceries, and more. Hit the link below and earn 25,000 sats just for signing up. I am bullish on taking risks, but not quite the same way. Not, you know, messing around with customer funds or, or building Ponzi's or yield and all that stuff, but taking risk on a cultural and a creative level when it comes to talking about Bitcoin. So I had a moment, I had my little 15 minutes of fame uh, last week after a solid year, year and a half of, of making like 60 second videos, half of them being like trying to orange pill people on 60 seconds, the other half just talking about economics. I post one and then all of a sudden it just blows up on Instagram. I got like 4 million views and it was, the whole video is just about uh, me railing against like, you know, who the left blames and who the right blames and how really when we're all having our money stolen through inflation, that's something that maybe we could unify around. It's been a year of taking risks to try and figure out what connects with people. Like I have taken an immense amount of like creative risks and gone outside of my comfort zone as a presenter, as somebody who covers certain topics delving into things, uh, trying to talk about things I don't really understand too well. And I'm just trying to learn, but doing that out in the open. And I came about success of that. And, and now I feel like I have a bit more of like a track on how to move forward with the type of stuff I'm talking about. It's not just about me. I had the chance to go down to Pacific Bitcoin last week. The really the most interesting stuff that happened down there was meeting all the different entrepreneurs building stuff in Bitcoin that were not, you know, wallets or exchanges, but all the peripheral cultural products that are massive, massive risks because you really can't quite figure out how many Bitcoiners out there will want to part with their fiat or their Bitcoin to buy a trading card or a piece of merchandise or an energy drink. But entrepreneurs are going out on a limb and they're feeling the waters and they're feeling that there is a distinct Bitcoin culture forming. And Bitcoiners really like to, you know, show off the things that they have, show off their pride in Bitcoin, try different products to orange pill their friends and family, t-shirts, cards, whatever. And all these entrepreneurs now, this is the first time ever I've ever seen it in Bitcoin, especially this year. And you can probably agree with me on this, Ben, that all of these entrepreneurs have built atop this social and cultural layer of Bitcoin. And now are, we're seeing the fruits of the first type of non-selling Bitcoin, Bitcoin products out there. Um, so not wallets, not exchanges, again, not um, yield products or anything, but just cultural homages and references to Bitcoin. And they're finding real markets for them. The Bitcoin trading cards, like Aladdin, you've just impressed me so much getting to know you over the last few few days and weeks. And like, I had no idea how big the trading cards thing is, but Aladdin has created a market. There are markets of people who are bidding for these cards who are watching the streams to see certain pulls who are looking for rarity you've created a market from basically nothing and you filled a demand that most of us had no idea was there and i think there's so much more underneath this bitcoin rock to uncover when it comes to that energy drinks merchandise other forms of collectibles um and it's all been in the middle of this like terrible crab year on Bitcoin too, where it's just gone nowhere. I don't think, you know, any of us have met a Bitcoiner that was minted in 23. I met one at the conference down there, but most of us are holdovers from 21, 22 or before. Um, but we keep building these awesome apps and products for all of us to use within our own ecosystem. So I am bullish on the risk takers in this space, trying new things. And